Well, very soon now we're going to be starting on step 62. And uh, step 62 wants us to put some of our major pieces in place. And uh, I'm at the place now where I have to decide am I going to paint this this section right here black or almost black or am I just going to leave it now I did not do this one and I think I'm at the point now that it's too late to do it so if I'm not going to do this this one here that, that goes at the uh, at the uh, front of the ship at the, in the bow section this this one here that we just completed that goes on the stern section uh, I think it probably would, would look funny if I painted this one black but not this one I, I think that what's going to happen is I'm just going to end up making it look worse than better and yes it's it's not as authentic um, but I think that in my case I'm best off just leaving it and uh, well, I'll tell you what though, we, we will uh, put the macro lens on and have a close look at what I did last night. Uh, and yes, I did come back to the model table last night. And yes, if you want to get through all the painting and listening to me, uh, you know, uh, reminiscing and doing my monologue thing like I usually do while I'm painting there for what, 15 minutes? I, I couldn't believe it when I edited that out, that it was that long, but it, it took me quite a while to, to uh, go over these parts in, in, uh, in the black, or in the number 77 rather. But anyway, I think I'm going to just, just leave this. If you're building this, this model and you want to do yours in black, go for it. Yeah, go for it. Uh, just, just because I, I don't do something doesn't mean you don't have to do something. And just because Steve in the model shed does something, it doesn't, doesn't mean that I have to do it. Uh, yes, it would be better. But there's no end to better. I want to get this ship in the case and I want to get started on the Rodney and I'm very seriously thinking of buying the Iowa or, or the Missouri probably the Iowa because it seems to be more readily available in fact it's here in Winnipeg right now as we speak at least it was last last I checked and uh, yeah and, and at least have it on hand so it'll sort of encourage me to finish the Rodney at least that's the plan but you know as I've said so many times, life is what happens to you while you're making other plans. So, in the meantime, my plan right now is to grab the macro lens, slip it on, and we'll have a nice close look at this. Okay. Normally, what I do is I try to have my final edit done in time to watch the entire video before it hits YouTube and gets on, gets onto YouTube without any glaring mistakes. Well, there wasn't any glaring mistakes in yesterday's video, but when I did get around to watching it, I I noticed that I uh, had not painted the the uh, ladders uh, a darker gray. And uh, I kind of wondered, why, why did I do that? Because, uh, well, the, the thing that I should be doing now is running back down to the workshop, plugging in the uh, air hose and, uh, you know, and spray them. But, you know, I, I just shook this up here. And uh, I'm going to give it a whirl and, and see if I can't just sort of uh, brush the 77 on here, which I believe is what we did most of the other ladders. And uh, and as long as I don't let it, you know, pool too much along the bottom there where it's stuck on the tape, I, I don't think it should be too bad. Um, this is this is quite thin, 
and uh, and and as long as I I don't keep brushing back and forth a lot, we we shouldn't uh, we shouldn't dissolve the uh, number twenty two that we sprayed on here. When was it yesterday? I just. I know you can't really see it too good there, but it'll eventually get around to get around to you. Now we're we're it's not going to. I'm sort of almost dry brushing it on. Maybe I should be cranking up the. Uh, the air hose. Now remember, don't don't go working it in because you're going to end up, like I say, dissolving the 22. Okay, let me look on the monitor. <laughs> right now, you can see this better than I can, even though we're not using the macro lens. Now this is this is very thin so so when it does dry it it should uh, uh, what's the word I want shrink wrap shrink wrap that's the word I want at this close up we're going to be able to see that it's you know been brushed on now another another part that I should really do uh, in in the darker is, is this right here I know one of the viewers uh, suggested uh, doing the cables in metallic black I don't think I've got any but we'll, but we'll just just do this in the in the darker gray here, and uh, it, it would have been better if I had sprayed it because uh, you know I'll be the first to admit the airbrush does a better job at something like this. Now I'll turn it over and get the other side, and like I say, I, I'm I'm pretty sure that it's going to shrink wrap in there. And we're not going to really notice that it wasn't airbrushed. At least, that's my hope. And and then I do have some black that I could do the cables. Okay, now what else? I was going to do something else too. I think I more or less got it there. I'm trying to keep it in your field of view. All right, so we got that. Oh yeah. I was thinking about, uh, I could almost do these better by holding it by hand. No, I, I don't want to touch the uh, the boom. Turn it over here. I should maybe have the macro lens on, but I, I think you can probably see it. I find uh, painting like this very relaxing. Very relaxing. 
You know, I can I can see photo etch there. Now, mind you, nobody would be looking at it from this angle anyway. Now, if I'm going to be doing these cables in, in the black, maybe I'm, uh, I'm sort of building it up and I just want to make sure that there's no little droplets in between the, uh, the wires, if you know what I mean. I'm not seeing any. Okay, even if I, even if I don't do anything now with the cables, it'll look better than if I had it just left it with the number 22. Now, in in all in all probability, well, not probability, but in in all possibility, at one time they may have had the entire ship basically the same color. Who knows? Kind of got it on the uh, boom there. Okay, yeah, there's. Uh, I can. I can see the photo. Which uh, if I turn it, you can see it too. See that? Hmm. Well, I guess that's because I was spraying sort of from the top instead of from the bottom. Oh, that's way too heavy. rid of some of this. Try and mop it off. Mm, somebody likes the sound of their hemi. Actually, I do too. I like the sound of a, of a V8 like that. And uh, I like the sound of a Harley Davidson. And I like the sound of uh, the old John Deere Model D style tractor. Something, something about it that's sort of kind of nice. But that's me. All right, how's that look? I think we did pretty good there. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll uh, let that dry and we'll uh, see how that looks in the morning. And thanks for listening to me. Okay, that was not planned. It just happened to go off at the same time as I pushed record. Um, now, as long as we're set up like this, why don't we just uh, do this as well? I'm trying not to get it on, on the... Uh, On, on the boom part. Maybe I've got too much there now. Once again, I'm going to rely on the fact that this is going to shrink wrap.
Now I, I know that the uh, the little wheel isn't going to, like the little pulley itself is not going to turn anymore, I know that. But that's alright, we, we don't want it to turn anyway. Now I'm probably going to fill in the, the hole that we have to put the, the photo etch thing through. But uh, hey, we got these tiny little bits, right? I get to use one. Okay, now we'll do it on the end here. Okay, I think that uh, I'm looking at it with my four diopter reading glasses here. This doesn't look, I can almost see green there. Uh, yeah, the 22 gray, it's, it's sort of got a green color, doesn't it? Okay, let's leave that end alone. Now we'll turn it around here. And uh, try not to touch what I just painted with my hand. Maybe I should start out here and uh, and work my way the other way. Maybe that would work better. Sort of kind of dry brush it in there. I don't want to build this this uh, uh, shaft or what peg or whatever you want to call it up too much because if I do, it's not going to uh, go through the the uh, hole that's on the, that is the, uh, the bra of the bracket that it has to fit in. I just want to see if I can't just get it so that it's almost going over that. Now don't touch the... How's that look? I think we more or less got it here. That'll break loose later. It's starting to, it's starting to dry now already, or shrink already. Okay, we'll look at these uh, in the morning. Okay, if you watch the last 15 minutes, you will uh, remember that it, several times I, I did say, um, you know, will, will this shrink wrap? And uh, for the most part it did. It's not as, uh, the detailing is, is not as distinctive as had I used the airbrush. And it does appear to me that, looking in the monitor right now, that we may have filled in. Let's see if I can get this around here. Okay, I'm wor I'm, I was kind of worried about this one that is sort of bent back so that we could get the piece of photo etch in it. I, we, we may have to try and uh, drill or poke out the paint from that one ring. I'm not going to bother with the other ones because they have the illusion of being, you know, something could pass through them and that's that's all you need. You just have to think that it's, you know, the way it's supposed to be and that's good enough. At least it's good enough for me. Um, anyway, uh, I don't think there's any need to, uh, well, I'll, I'll move, I'll, I'll, I'll go up to the uh, uh, the top section. We'll look at the top section. It won't take too much work here. And maybe one ladder.
Okay, and one hook. Okay, let's see if we can get this right on the first try. This is where I've been storing the model for the last little while. Every time I do this, I hold my breath, sort of. I notice we're getting a little bit dusty here. Now, if my dear wife was still with us and saw the mess that I've made of the living room, I would sure be in trouble. And I'll tell you, I wish she was here. It would be worth being in trouble just to have her back, even for a day. Sort of uh, swabbing the decks or sweeping the decks. How long has it been since uh, we painted this deck? I should look it up and see. Okay, here we are on my channel. And I'm hoping that this is going to work. Uh, first of all, I about a, oh, a month ago, maybe less, I found out that somebody ha is taking the trouble to put my videos, uh, the model ship build, on a playlist. And uh, I, I do remember somebody uh, making, making that comment, oh, about a year ago, maybe. And then I, I but I never actually ran across it. Um, but anyway, I want to thank that person because uh, I'm sure this uh, means that every time I put out a, a video uh, on the model ship, you have to add it to the playlist. Uh, if you're listening, uh, thank you very much. And uh, maybe uh, comment again because uh, <laughs> I'm ashamed to say I've forgotten who you are. Anyway, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to keep going back. Uh, until we get to uh, where it looks like okay here we go the model ship this this is the this is the hood right here that's 555 okay it looks like right here 519 was the uh, when we got the the model ship I mean the hood and um, so we probably started on the deck well, look, maybe right around here. Let's let's just see what what is the date here. Let's just bring this up here. Okay, it uh, it's August the. Pause that. It's August the sixth. So that's over a year. So those those uh, decks have been out uh, collecting dust for over a year. Or so anyway, uh, that's all I wanted to do right now. I, I actually could not honestly remember when we started the hood. Well, August the 6th, more or less. Probably the beginning of August. Yeah. Okay, I'm trying to make it look like we're just going straight from the one scene to the other and no time has passed, but in reality, <laughs> about an hour or more has passed here. And uh, uh, what I did was I went, I went downstairs into the workshop and I plugged in my air hose. And I'm going to methodically start at the stern here and just work my way up to the bow. Notice how I uh, talk nautical every once in a while. Stern, bow. Uh, anyway, uh, and, and uh, just methodically go along and, and brush the deck and then I'll use my to blow it off. Um, anyway, I, I don't wanna be bothered videoing that. I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. I'll probably spend the rest of the afternoon doing it. Um, and maybe this evening we'll come back and uh, see what happens here. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. And all being well, we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>